Hello guys, and I am absolutely thrilled to have you here today. First and foremost, we love reading your comments and feedback on our videos. And the popular recurring question is we're going to address today would be how can you change the primary admin in your QuickBooks online account? So stay put and relax whether you're transitioning roles, delegating responsibilities, or simply need to make a change, we've got you covered. If you haven't already, please be sure to click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Uh, changing the uh, primary admin in QuickBooks Online can be necessary for various reasons depending on the circumstances and needs of the business or the organization. Uh, number one would be change in leadership. Obviously, when there's a change in business ownership or leadership, uh, the primary admin may need to be updated to reflect the new responsible party. There's also the uh, employee departure, delegated responsibilities, and you know security uh, con concerns. If there are concerns about the security of the account or the risk of unauthorized access, you might want to, you know, change the primary admin and it can help strengthen the security. There's also the employer roles change and streamlining account management and all of that stuff. Some, you know, uh, occasional uh, situations where you have to get the password reset to make a better organizational structure, you know transition to professional services and compliance requirements, all of these uh, fall into the account of changing of the, uh, the, <clears throat> the, the, the passwords. Now, it's important to note that changing the primary admin in QuickBooks Online should be done carefully with proper authorization. Now, if you hover to the, uh, to the version that I'm using, you might want to go to the upper right corner where you can see the notif uh, the the tool icon. It says your company account settings and just click manage users. It'll take a while. So you are given two options where it says accounting firms and users. Well, accounting firms if you have an account uh, accountant already, but you might want to go to users. Let's say uh, this is, you want to change uh, the role of this primary admin to a different role. Maybe uh, let's uh, click the hit button. So Israel, here's uh, his email. Uh, let's say you might want to change that and all that stuff. You click save. And if you are going to the accounting firms, let's say you are going to hire an accountant. Um just uh type the e uh the your accountant's email address and he uh the the person will the accountant will receive the notification for the uh, authorization access and then you will be notified that the uh the the changes have been successful so um i believe that's it so if you have any questions or comments feel free to drop them in the comment section we really love hearing from you and we are always here to help. That's the purpose of our video anyways. And once again, I'm going to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.